And these rains causing damage all across Southern California. So what can homeowners do? On your sides, Christine Lazar is live in Sherman Oaks with information you need to know. And Christine, you're seeing a lot of mud. We are, and now we're seeing more rain, a more steady rainfall here in Sherman Oaks. We're on Stone Canyon. I want to show you the scene behind me here. You can see in the roadway, lots of debris and mud and just really treacherous driving conditions. But the real problem right now is behind me here. Some of these homes on the hillside, they now have mud and debris flow, not only in the driveway here, but we're told it's all the way into this house. The homeowner here evacuated around midnight. And you can see as we pan up, that's the hillside that is coming down onto the these homes. Um, there's about two homes up the street that just have damage in the backyard. But again, we're told this homeowner actually has this mud and debris inside the house. I'm told they just purchased the home in September. And that, of course, begs the question, do they have flood insurance? Typically, homeowners insurance policies, they're not going to cover things like these. And we'll continue to show you this as I talk about it, unless you have additional flood insurance. However, if you live in a burn area, then the insurance commissioner has put insurance companies on notice that they'll have to cover that. So what can you do in the meantime so that you can make sure that you have maximum coverage? These are some tips. First of all, right now you want to take a smartphone and do home inventory. Take photos and videos of everything inside your house so if you do have damage or you do have loss, you can have an inventory of it. Also for renters, you're going to want to consider renter's insurance. If you don't have it, then the contents inside your home or apartment that you're renting would not be covered. You also want to check with your auto policy and see if it has comprehensive coverage that would cover your car if it starts sliding down the street or has some of this mud and debris that we're seeing in the street go into it. And then finally, as I mentioned, you're going to want to consider flood insurance if you do live in an area like this against a hillside or an area that is prone to flooding. And you can see the rain once again coming down here, all the water in the gutters here. Uh, so residents obviously still on alert here. This resident has left, left at midnight because the fire department deemed that it was not safe for them to stay inside. So that's some tips, but the best advice I can give everyone is to be prepared and to know your policy coverage. Yeah, that's Back to you guys in the studio. Studio. It's so important, Christine, because it, it, it's not what you think it is all no. the time with insurance policies. Thank you. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.